keep hoping I'm gonna post a video of the fish that my family, children, catch. In the last three years, they've not caught any walleye good enough for me to fry. So I actually have to go out and buy it. Here's the thing about fish. I don't fish. I don't want to touch it. But will I cook it? Yeah. So I'm going to touch it right now. Here's my piece of walleye. Okay. Hold on. So I would just pick up a little piece of skin here. Do this. Oh, it's kind of working, but it feels weird. Okay. But look, Ava, look. I'm actually not half bad at this. You gotta get it just kind of started. Lucas, you have to do this for me because I don't know if I can do it. Well, one thing, I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm pretty sure if you like flip it over and then like almost like pull the meat while you're cutting it, it kind of makes it a little bit easier. Here. My hands are dirty. Well, so wash them. Okay, so I don't need anybody telling me how to do this after they Actually, see this because I know I'm not doing it right. It. Start from the other side. Let's manhandle this fish. Manhandle it. Don't cut yourself. Yeah. <gasps> Luke! Oh, yeah. That's good! I know I told you. Well, now you gotta do like 10 more. Hey! Fish skin! Something delicious for dinner. Let's get, I'm gonna get a half cup measuring scoop. It doesn't have to be exact. There's a half. You know, let's just do a cup. This is gonna be station number one. I wanna add some salt. With a cup, I want to say a nice rounded teaspoon of kosher salt. And with that, maybe another. Okay, yeah. Pepper's going in. Peppers. Do you like pepper? Pepper. Say pepper. Okay. So now we've got our salt, we've got our pepper. Let's stick in some garlic, granulated garlic. Nice rounded half teaspoon, half teaspoon. That looks good. And then we're gonna have some onion powder. Uh, okay, we're getting this. That wasn't quite rounded. Okay, now it's rounded. It's not bad. Oh yeah, that's so good. Scouty, Scouty, go ahead, have some chill. And we're whisking, whisking. Good enough. Okay, so second bowl. What are we gonna do? Yeah, these nice super clean eggs. Isn't the chicken lucky? <laughs> that eggs are the shape they are. I usually don't clean them until I use them, okay? Because there's a nice protective coating on them. Beautiful golden eggs. Look at that. You know what? I feel like we could use some paprika. For color? Not only for color, I feel like it tastes really good too. So I did like a half a teaspoon each of the onion powder, garlic powder. So we're gonna do maybe just like a little quarter teaspoon of this paprika. Look, so pretty. Let's take about a half a sleeve of these. I'm just kind of playing it as we go. But saltines have traditionally been used when pan frying walleye. 
for a really long time. What's the greatest thing since the Cracker Barrel? Right here, new thin style crispy crackers. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball a half of a sleeve. Okay. Yeah. So let's just use, okay, about a half a sleeve, half a cup of mashed potato flakes. No peeling, no washing, no mashing. Quick story, my daughter Sophia, she was, I'm not sure, no, it was you, Ava, okay? She was babysitting when someone in the house wanted like an Insta cup, right? Of yeah, mashed potatoes yeah. or something? Well, anyway, this poor girl, my daughter, came home distraught because she's like, wait a minute, mom. Mashed potatoes are instant? Like, I've never even heard of that before. There are occasions when you need, I wouldn't say need, when you could use instant potatoes, and this is one of them, okay? It's only for the crunch and the crisp. It's not to actually make potatoes to eat. How would you like some light, fluffy mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Right here. So, I have my salting crackers, and I have my potato flakes, and what do we do? Mm -hmm. Take out our weeks. Say this. Will this be enough for all of our fish? Why not? You might want to start when you're doing all this having your oil on. <laughs> so let's get this heated up and I'll be right back. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna start by kind of getting these into manageable size pieces. I'm gonna cut at a diagonal. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that just grossed me out, Ava, but that did. Okay, about this size. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with those. I'm gonna bring these over to my workstation. So, we're ready to go here. My oil is hot. You want it at about 325, 350 degrees. Um, once we dredge these, it's only going to take about two or three minutes on each side, and then they're done. So we're going to start piece number one. Okay, we're coating it in our seasoned flour. Then we're dipping it in our egg with that. From there, directly into our cracker slash potato crunchy delight right here into the oil it goes and you just want to repeat with all your fillets of walleye all right you guys so i'm going to finish coating the rest of these and i'm going to get them into our pan and i'll tell you exactly what the final product is like everyone this is how we're gonna finish this. Okay, because you know, whenever I do something, I like to add a little bit of a touch to it. The Melvin sea salt plate, my favorite finishing salt. So, I'm gonna take just a little pinch, and I'm gonna do this. What? What? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that. Okay, wait. Sorry, I just, I didn't get it. 